Welcome. The topic that we're discussing today is how to print and reset your statements. Now please understand this is taking into consideration that your screens are already set up and ready to go. In the case that they are not, or if you're not sure about in what order you should print things, um, either discuss it with your system administrator or call SBC Training for assistance. To start, I'm going to go to my AR Management menu, that's F as in Frank. And then I'm going to go to number seven, monthly statements, which I'd like to say is a misnomer. We now have the ability to do weekly statements as well, uh, and it, you would do those through the same menu. So I'm going to click on monthly statements. I'm going to enter my clerk code. In the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see your saved library jobs for your statement print and your statement reset. Um, if you don't see anything up there, or as I said, if there's more jobs um, than just a single statement print and you're unsure about which ones to run, please ask your system administrator. So I'm going to start by clicking on the statement print, and the system is going to ask me for my statement date. My statement date is the last day's tickets that should be included on this particular statement. So since most of our customers do statements on the last day of the month, I'm going to use that as a template and I'm going to type in 2016-0930. When I type that in at the top of my screen, you'll see that my job is called Statement Print, and it's for statements through Friday, September 30th, 2016. Now, literally, my screen should be completely cl uh, filled out at this point, and all I need to do is come down and click on my Enter key to begin. When I do that, a message is going to pop up that says service charges and aging will be based on that September 30th date. Do I want to continue? And unless that date is incorrect, I'm going to say yes, I want to continue. And it's going to start to run my statements. Once my statements have printed, I want to pull them off of the printer and I want to go through and review them. You have the ability to, pre, to reprint your statements as many times as you would like before you do your statement reset. So if, when you're going through these statements, you find that there is an account who has postings that haven't been uh, applied correctly or something along those lines, you can go and fix that information on their account and then rerun their statement print. And as long as you haven't done the reset, uh, it's going to be as if that original print never happened. So in the case that that's the scenario here, I'm going to go back into my monthly statements, put in my clerk code, and I'm going to click on my statement print job again, and I'm going to type in the same date that I used before, 2016-09-30 for this example. Now, again, my screen is completely set up, but perhaps I don't want to reprint every one of my statements. I just have one that I want to reprint. So I'm going to click on the Selection Options button here in the center, and I'm going to enter my account number. Now, I'm going to type in 1235, hit my Enter key, and notice that it populates 1235 into my Stop Number field as well, assuming that I only have that single statement that I want to reprint. If for some reason your uh, ink ran out midway through the printing, you can start at any record and stop at any record. So you could change your stop number to the last statement that is expected to run. Because I've selected a particular statement, I don't need to fill out anything else on my screen. I can press my Home key. And then again, I can click on my Enter key to begin. It'll give me that question again. Do I want uh, my service charges and my aging to be based on that September 30th, 2016 date? I'm going to click on the Yes button. It's going to run my statement and throw me back to my main menu. Once I've confirmed that all of my statements are correct, um, I'm going to go back into the system and I'm going to reset my statements. So I'm going to go to my monthly statements, type in my clerk code, and I'm going to use this job here, Statement Reset. So when I click on that, now you may have a password that comes up um, before you get to your uh, date here. If there's a password there, you'll want to check with your system administrator as to what that password has been set to. When I'm doing my Statement Reset, what's actually happening in the system is that I'm now updating my computer system with the information that had printed out on paper. So when I printed it out on paper, it was faking 
um, the system out that I had closed my period when I actually had not physically done that in the system yet. So this system reset, statement reset, will go through. It's going to update uh, my statement date with the, with the date that I type in here. It's going to type in uh, or update my statement amount uh, with the total amount of my statement. And it's going to clear out the statement page on my account record so that I'm ready to start to collect new invoices for my new statement run. When I come in here, I want to type in that exact same date that I used before. So 2016-09-30. And you'll notice at the top it says Run Statement Reset. I'm checking on my date to make sure that it's the same date that I had on my prints. And then if you scroll down the page, you'll notice that in this particular case, I'm not printing a second copy of my statements. These screens should be set up for you and ready to go. Um, if you'd like to print out another copy, you absolutely can change that um, and set it to print to a printer and then choose what printer you're going to print to. And at the bottom, you'll notice that this says this is not a pre-run. Transactions will be reset. Aged fields will be shifted. And so this is how we know that it's going to go ahead and actually update the system. We cannot undo this step. So do not do your statement reset unless you're completely satisfied with the statements that have printed out of your system. In this case, I'm just going to choose that 1235 account. Um, just so that I can show you real quick what it looks like when you do a statement reset. I'm going to click on my home key and then I'm going to click on the enter to begin button over here on the left side. So I'm going to click on enter. I get this message. This is not a pre-run. Transactions will be reset. Do I want to continue? And I'm going to say yes. And then it gives me that same exact message one more time. Service charges and aging will be based on 9-30-2016. Yes, I want to continue. It's going to take a couple of seconds to update whatever accounts that you have requested. And then if I go into that account, into my B page, this accounting page over here, 1235, You'll notice that my last statement date, although it's a zero balance, um, my last statement date has been stamped right here. So I'll be able to access that information in the future if I need to. Press the escape key to escape back to the main menu. If you have any questions about this uh, or you need additional information on how to run your statements, please call SBC at 800 829-4722 or email us at sbctraining at autolog.com. There is an additional video that you'll find in this menu that shows the long version of how to create and save your statement setups uh, if you would like that information. Thank you so much for joining us.